I got my hands on one of the coolest new bottles in the market and it's mainly cool because, well, it looks cool. This is an old style decanter bottle. Love it. This is the James E. Pepper Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It distilled at the historic James E. Pepper Distillery in Lexington, Kentucky. It's around 105.4 proof. I'm excited to dive in and share my thoughts on this one with you. Now let me pull out my phone and tell you some quick facts about this bottle because I want to get it right. I never want to be wrong. I always want to be accurate. So according to their website, the James E. Pepper website, this is a unique blend of our oldest stocks and distinct mash bill consisting of corn rye, malted barley, and malted rye, aged in new toasted and charred barrels, made from Kentucky oak, air seasoned a minimum of 18 to 24 months. It says the average age of whiskeys is five and a half years. It's uncut, unfiltered. So that's the quick lowdown on the bottle. It retails somewhere around 60, $65. And before you ask me, the batch number on this is 0005. So thank you guys so much for being here. If you have not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and be sure to check out all of our other reviews. Now, for this review, let's go. Cheers to you. Here we go. Whoa. Now, is the whiskey in this bottle as cool as the bottle itself? We're about to find out. On the nose. On the nose, I get a lot of butterscotch on this one. It's like a lot of butterscotch, vanilla custard, like even a light note of like pecan, pecan pie. I want to be like pecan pie, pecan pie, pecan pie, pecan, pecan, whatever, however you say it. It's like vanilla custard pecans, vanilla, like extract, caramel, butterscotch, but a lot of butterscotch on the nose. Now let's taste it. Mm. I get some similar notes that I get on the nose on the palate. It's a little thicker than I imagined. Like it's a little, like more robust with flavor. It has some cinnamon that comes through. So like cinnamon covered pecans, like butterscotch, caramels, vanillas. It has this sweet notes, like sweet notes that carry through it. But then you also get the like the nuttiness that comes through, but not overly nutty, not like a peanut, like a peanut butter or anything like that. It's more like a pecan or a walnut. It kind of gives me like this fall vibe. It really does. It also has like a light cherry note to it and then some cinnamon. It has a decent finish, nothing crazy on the finish. Like it's there, it kind of goes away pretty quickly, but overall it's really balanced throughout. It does give me a lot of vibes of Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Like I really got to do this in a blind to understand like how similar these two are. Obviously this is lower proof than Wild Turkey Rare Breed, but they do come in at similar price points. Another thing that really surprises me about this is that it gives me also like Buffalo Trace bourbon vibes. Like again, I get that cherry note, which I get, in Buffalo Trace products. I also get that in Wild Turkey products, but it also gives me this like apple cinnamon vibe as well. Again, definitely fall vibes. I'm really getting the fall vibes out of this one. I like it. I think it's an awesome freaking looking bottle and even cooler, the whiskey tastes good on the inside. So let me give you my score and then let's talk about the price on this. So my score on this, I'm gonna give this one 3.25 corks out of five. I think that's a good score for this. I think this is a cool bottle with good whiskey inside of it and at the price point. So that's where we come into the next part. The price point, $60, that is a great price point. I think it would hold up really well next to Wild Turkey Rare Breed that's at $60 or so, depending on where you live. I also think it's comparable to like the Remus Highest Rye, which is also around $60. So this is a great bottle at that price point, something I really enjoy. And as you can tell, we've drank quite a bit of it since we got it only less than a month ago. So in the last few weeks, we've really drank a lot of this and we really enjoy it. So I can't wait to hear what you guys think of this bottle. Do you guys like this? Have you tried it? I haven't seen this in Colorado. I don't believe James E. Pepper is distributed in Colorado, but I could be wrong. I haven't seen it here though. Got this one in Kentucky. I'm not sure where else they distribute to, but if you see this bottle on the shelf, you definitely want to pick it up because it's fantastic. Now let me know what you think of it. Share in the comments if you've tried this, if you like it, or if it's something you're looking for. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Dara, I'm The Average Drinker, and I'll see you next time.